Tech Lyceum, a podcast from Birla Soft. Welcome to Tech Lyceum. Very excited to be here as always. I'm Neerja and uh, you know as well as I do that we always cover some very interesting topics on the show. Today is no different. We are going to be talking about the crucial role of cloud migration in modern manufacturing. And of course, we have two experts joining us to shed light on this. Uh, first up, let me introduce Pankaj Shah, Senior Director and Client Partner Manufacturing, who is a senior sales and business development expert with over 25 years of experience in discrete manufacturing working with fortune 500 companies he specializes in strategic business growth managing global relationships and large digital transformation in technology sectors like iot ar vr and cloud computing pankaj has some very valuable insights on driving business success through innovative strategies welcome to the show pankaj Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Of course, and uh, let me introduce our next guest, who's going to be joining us as well, Pushkar Sharma, AVP Cloud and Infrastructure Services. He has over two decades of experience in IT infrastructure and cloud services, uh, and has led high-performing teams across travel and transport, BFSI, telecom, and manufacturing verticals. He excels in client relationships, always a great thing, stakeholder management, and bringing value to the table with hybrid. cloud solutions and strengthening cloud practice a warm welcome to you pushkar thank you so much for joining us excited to be here thank you so if i may drive the first question to you pankaj a very interesting topic we're covering here and i think we should set the base for it what are some common challenges that manufacturing companies face during the cloud migration process Absolutely, Neeraj. It's a it's a pertinent conversation, especially for traditional manufacturing companies. Let me give you an example. You know, this is my customer. It's a close to eight billion dollar global leader in their chosen field across the globe, and uh, they have this objectives to move most of their uh, assets, on-prem assets, to the cloud. In this case, Azure. and uh, you know they have been grappling with this challenge the business challenge of how they can in the interim period move some of their infrastructure which is uh, sitting on some of the legacy on prem which the, the the business decision they have to make is hey do we continue to uh, put money in uh, in in kind of uh, upgrading the on prem or divert that investment and effort into moving to cloud which is part of their global strategy so in that respect they kind of approached us because we are already their trusted partner we are already doing uh, uh, their global dbms management and that's uh, one of the examples i can share with you uh, which um, is very ground uh, example but it kind of goes on to how companies the global system integrators like us uh, work with the manufacturing leaders and uh, kind of address their day to day uh, problems which uh, might tie into the larger objectives of their stakeholders Right Pankaj you've expertly uh, highlighted some of these challenges with a real time example and I think the follow up question really is how can manufacturing companies overcome these challenges to ensure a smooth transition to the cloud Absolutely Neeraj you know uh, going back to this example because uh, I think uh, it's important to relate to real business issues and uh, this was pretty unique in terms of this is not something typically that we would recommend but given the business challenge uh, we uh, partnered with a client we brought in a, a senior azure architect our uh, business intelligence experts our dbms experts and we were the, the the charter was to do a whole mapping of their infrastructure in terms vis-a-vis the databases they have uh, close to about i would say 25 to 30 SQL clusters they are looking at this point and this is just one geography if you extrapolate that to the global and interestingly what the client requested and we recommended is that 
this can be a, a repeatable process right uh, across various geographies so i think what we did is the latest and the greatest uh, methodology was using for example azure arc custo scripting extracting those uh, nodal connections on inbound and outbound and how to correlate that using some of the key you know automation from something like power bi and then creating that entire mapping which uh, has given the client and the executive to kind of decide hey these are the critical let's say 100 applications that definitely need to go on on azure but hey we can live with moving these other uh, 100 applications maybe in phase 2 so that has been an interesting journey it's a very specific example which goes on to demonstrate how and we are talking of multiples of millions of dollars here you know in terms of the phase 1 and the phase 2 and the client is happy client has been able to achieve their objective there were uh, some of us who were a little bit uh, skeptical about this approach but it was a client uh, challenge as you asked me nirja and we were able to respond to it and bring in the right amount of business consulting plus you know technology acumen to achieve the objective Yeah absolutely I mean I was just going to say it's great that you gave us such a specific example and it also shows how well equipped we are to navigate through these challenges right and um Pushkar from a more general perspective is there anything you'd like to add to what Pankaj has just talked about Yes absolutely Pankaj has brought in a very pivotal point of how tense the situation is in each digital transformation journey for both business and IT we at birla soft has proven frameworks and methodology wherein we you know ease out the situation for clients and make the migrations very predictable for them yeah that brings me to this question how can cloud solutions help manufacturing companies improve their operational efficiency and reduce costs so cloud adoption empowers manufacturers to stay competitive you know by innovating at a much faster pace they are now able to optimize their operations and it spend it is a definitely a strategic move you know that aligns with the industry's digital transformation journey and some of the you know but not limited to the benefits that includes is advanced analytics and automation see today cloud technology provides access to uh, analytics automation machine learning capabilities which optimizes production processes and reduce errors companies yeah. now are able to uh, reduce the it spend and cost effectiveness so instead of managing the physical hardware software manufacturers can now rely on cloud services at a much lower cost this also helps them improve the operational efficiency enhanced data driven decision making now, this is very important predictive maintenance based on cloud data can en- enhance overall equipment efficiency you know by effectively scrutinizing the inventory identify inefficiencies and improve the overall planning efficiency and uh, last but not the least is the ability to innovate faster today cloud platforms provide services that accelerate uh, cloud innovation manufacturers are able to experiment with new technologies develop new prototypes and iterate them very very quickly without significant upfront investments yeah so sounds like as we stand today um, lots of exciting opportunities and lots to be gained from this but if we look towards the future pushkar how do you see the role of cloud technology evolving in the manufacturing industry over the next say 5 to 10 years right this is a very interesting uh, conversation nirja you brought up so cloud technology will continue to evolve at a pace that has never seen before you know empowering manufacturers to innovate optimize operations and stay competitive in an increasing digital landscape certainly over the period of 5 to 10 years cloud technology will continue to, again to play a very pivotal role in transforming uh, the manufacturing industry some of the key important points that i want to highlight is first of all ai and machine learning cloud platforms will continue to provide a robust ai and machine learning tools manufacturers will leverage these capabilities for predictive maintenance quality control demand forecasting supply chain optimization 
Second, the edge computing, enabling real-time data processing at the factory floor. This convergence will enhance efficiency, reduce latency, and support mission-critical applications. Digital twins based on cloud technologies will become more sophisticated. Manufacturers can simulate, optimize processes, monitor equipment health, and improve the overall productivity. Then IoT integrations. You know, we see devices, tools everywhere today, right? So cloud services will continue to seamlessly connect with IoT devices, enable data collection analysis and automation. This integration will drive smart manufacturing and ensure, you know, we have energy efficient uh, manufacturing done in no time. Last but not the least is the cybersecurity focus. You know, because of the new digital twins, IoT, there are new areas to attack for uh, cyber criminals. As cloud adoption increases, robust security measures will be crucial and manufacturers will invest in security cloud architectures, encryption, threat detection, you know, to make sure they safeguard the sensitive data, both on IT and OT side. Pushkar Pankaj, this conversation has given us a lot of food for thought, I must say. And can I just ask if we were to summarize this conversation, what is that one takeaway that you leave with everybody? Uh, Pankaj, why don't you start us off? You know, Mirza, no, uh, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, Pushkar obviously is one of our leaders in this area. And I must uh, share here for the uh, general audience here. When manufacturing companies are looking for partners for their transformation journey, specifically around, uh, you know, cloud migration, cloud infrastructure, I think it's critical to understand what is the size of the partner. Global system integrators come in all shapes and sizes, you know, the, the large ones, the mid size. Often I have seen in my personal journey uh, working with large manufacturing companies is that certain times my clients really resonate with the right sized system integrator. Uh, That's one. The other thing I would want to highlight is that when you're choosing your path in terms of your migration journey, I think some of the examples that uh, we are wanting to share here, they would be relevant in terms of how do we set up that journey? How do we leverage investment from partners? Like, for example, in this case, we have leveraged strong alignment uh, with uh, with the partner, the cloud partner, and investments, technical know-how, alignment, and I would re-emphasize the size. So the right size partner can be critical here. The amount of attention that sometimes we would like us to kind of bring in may or may not be possible for a different size partner where they are essentially looking for uh, larger engagements. But sometimes when you're setting up yourselves, you don't have the luxury to right away get into a large engagement. You're kind of wanting to test the waters, get the business buy-in. So I think from that perspective, the example I gave would be relevant. That's a very useful insight to leave the listeners with Pankaj. Thank you. And Pushkar, uh, over to you. What are your final thoughts on this? Uh, I think manufacturing companies should continue to invest in increasing cloud footprint uh, and reap the benefits as early as possible. And of course, Billasoft is there to help. That's it. Yes. Well said. Uh, Thank you so much, Pankaj. Thank you, Pushkar, for joining us. It was a pleasure speaking to you on this. And uh, we hope to have you back again sometime soon. Thank you, Nija. This is Tech Lyceum, a podcast from Birla Soft. Birla Soft. Birla Soft. That concludes our episode for today. And as always, a lot of technological revelations have been made. I hope you found this interesting and informative. And I will be back with another one of these with another topic. Until then, it's me, Neerja, signing off. Bye. You were listening to Tech Lyceum, a podcast from Birla Soft.